Hey, Rakeem, should we go with Nacho? Which one do you prefer? Nacho, big dog. <laughs> All right, I want to start there. Just, I've kind of heard you have a big personality. You, can you describe your personality on and off the field, like what you're, what you're bringing to the locker room and the field here? Uh, man, I'm just bringing a whole lot of energy, a whole lot of excitement, a whole lot of teamwork, just hard work and effort, you know. Uh, my personality is my personality. Everything I do, I work hard for, and it's just I understand, you know, how much this game meant to me and how much it gave back to me. So I just try to do everything, you know, whatever. I try to give it all I got, and I don't know how to really wear my emotions on my, my feelings, but it just comes out on my sleeves and the way I talk. It's just me. And then you're coming to join a defensive line with Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence. What are your thoughts on you know how you kind of compliment them and fit in with them? Man, uh, I respect that game. Like <laughs> those some dogs right there, and I just feel like uh, coming here to to help and contribute. You know, bring some some great things. Stopping the run is what I do. I do that in my sleep. So uh, I just want to help those guys in that aspect. And anything that I can do to help them take the load off them, that's what I'm here for. Guys, I appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Same. Kim Jones. Uh-uh. Kim, I think you're on mute. Yeah. I'm the worst at that. Nacho, <laughs> it's nice to meet you, and I'm going to do that again, so I apologize. <laughs> it's all right. How you doing, Kim? Now i got to start over. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when you uh, considered the Giants and, and that whole process, how much did Wink Martindale, if any, fit into your uh, profile of who you wanted to be coached by? Uh, a lot. I mean, i see seen him do a lot with, you know, lesser guys or guys that came from, you know, struggling backgrounds and they felt like they were only one dimensional and then he had, he ended up taking them to the next level. So just seeing a coach like that and understanding his background, I was like, you know, I would love to play for a guy like that. How would you describe what Giants fans are going to see from you on the field on game days? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how to put it in the word, to be honest with you. I just can say uh, it'll never be a dull moment, you know. It's going to be something to look forward to. You know, Joe Shane had told us that, that getting depth and, and quality depth, uh, depth, obviously, for that defensive line was an absolute priority. Um, how do you think you'll fit in with, you know, kind of the bigger names on that D-line and also maybe some of the other guys as well? Um, the biggest thing about me since I've uh, been in the league is, I say my biggest attribute is being a chameleon. Whatever you need, wherever you need me to fill in that, I become that and I dominate that position. So, wherever my coach requires, I'll be that. You said being a chameleon? Yes, ma'am. Change whatever I can do. I like that. Um, was it a tough decision? Like, did the Giants, you know, blow you away and you were like, this is where I want to be? Or how was the decision made? It was a tough decision. It really was. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was a battle between two two other teams, but I, I'm not going to get into that. But uh, when it came down to it, um, I love where the organization is going. I love the people that's here. And it, it just was a better fit, you know, moving forward. I was just going to follow up real quickly, if I may, um, about that. Like, the idea that the Giants did what they did last year, and now they have – you know, a lot more promise. They have a, a real footing in that building now in terms of Dable and Shane and that sort of thing. How much did that open your eyes in this process? I mean, it was big. I mean, I've always wanted to be a part of the cause and not a part of the problem. And I've seen where the organiz organization was at and the things that, you know, they can do and the potential that was here. And so I was like, man, I feel like I can be one of those factors to take it to that next level. So I've always wanted to be a part of that. I never like going to those dream teams. I want to be a part of the culture, the part of the change, the part of the shift. So that was one of the biggest factors in coming here. Thank you so much. Yes, I look forward to meeting you in person. Same. We have time for a couple more if there are any. Let's not I'll all raise our hands at once. <laughs> People are missing out on the best interview. I'll jump back in here. Uh, <laughs> Like you said, you're a chameleon. Like, where did you play mostly? Like, maybe the last, I know you've had a long career, but like, where have you played mostly throughout your career? Like, three technique, five technique, just like a little bit of that type of stuff. You know what? It's, it's funny that you say that because I've mainly been a backup nose, but something always ended up happening to the three techniques and I ended up playing a large volume at uh, three tech. But 
I feel like I've split my reps between three and those, but it's probably on the higher end at three. But when I was in 2020, I was a dominant nose, and it's been some times where I play in the five. So it goes three, nose, then five. Gotcha. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Charlotte Carroll. Hey, Nacho, nice to meet you. Hey, how you doing, Carroll? Good, how are you? Awesome. Um, With you coming to the Giants, you'll you'll get to work with Andre Patterson. Was wondering if if you've met him before, kind of where that relationship, or if you kind of just met him when you got here. Um, like formally, I just met him when I got here, so I haven't been able to like you know develop that relationship all the way. But I'm I'm eager, very. And then I guess I'll I'll go again if we still got some time. Uh, with Dexter specifically, I mean he kind of moved a little bit and he tweaked his uh, technique a little bit this past season. I I wonder if that's something you you saw. Um, this past season, or you, you're shaking your head like you you watched that develop. I seen him grow as a player. I mean, the guy was all over the field. This is a big joker, you know, adding to his pass rush, running down the ball, playing sideline to sideline. Like, I was just amazed by the growth and the steps that he took from, you know, the previous year. I'm like, this guy's going in the right direction. And I, I love to play with him, so I love it. I just want to compliment their game.